Hi, right, Tim Skull here, ABB HVACR Application Engineering. Today we're going to look at ACH 580 drive and understanding the temperature readings that are in drive. So looking at drive temperature is a great reference for trying to determine if you need to have preventative maintenance done on a drive. So let's dive into it and we'll talk about the details. So I'm going to go ahead and simply click on menu. Come on down here to diagnostics. That just makes sense. Diagnostics, looking at temperature. So I'm going to look at the first one on the list, drive actual values, go into there. And now let's scroll down and look for something involving temperature. No need to dig through parameters, just go down the list. And we can see right here, inverter temperature. So the first thing you're going to see is the temperature is in percentage instead of degrees. Why did we do that? Well, the inverter temperature is the temperature of the IGBTs, insulated gate bipolar transistors. They're the ones that are doing all the work, providing the power out to the motor. So do you really know, is 60 degrees Celsius too high on those devices? Is 80 degrees Celsius? Is 110 degrees Celsius? What is too high? And we found out that with previous generation drives, when we talked about the inverter temperature, the IGBTs in degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit, we get a lot of concerned folks saying, oh, this is at 60 degrees C or 90 degrees C. There, there's got to be a problem. Well, these devices are actually designed to run at those temperatures without a problem. So what we want to do is try to take the temperature concept, convert it into something that was meaningful or easy to understand. So we decided to go with percentage. So what does the 21% mean? Well, 100% means that that's the fault level. So 0% would be at 0 degrees C. 100% would be at 100 degrees, or 100%, I should say, of the fault threshold. So in this case, I'm at 21%, so I'm nowhere near the fault threshold. And that makes sense because I'm just connected into a demo case right now in the office, so I, I'm not even running that demo case. So if I looked at this particular drive, this drive happens to fault out at 129 degrees Celsius on the IGBTs. So if I did my interpolation there, hey, 21% is gonna equal about 81 degrees Fahrenheit or so. So that makes sense with the drive not actually running a motor, you just got a little bit of residual heat coming from the drive, so values make sense. But again, 100% equals fault. Usually you're gonna get three to 5% below that is when the warning is gonna kick in. It depends on the frame size of the drive. So I'd say 96%, 97%, 95%, it just depends on the drive and, and how it's designed is when you're gonna see a warning threshold kick in. So what you wanna do is really, this is the type of data, it's okay to check manually just like we did, but it is an awesome data point for you to trend over BACnet or through your building automation system. Because over time, you can look at the temperature profile of the drive and if you want to take snapshots of the peak loading period, so that way you got similar loading from one day to the other. And if you see over days, months, or years, that temperature just keeps creeping up higher and higher and higher, that's a really good indication that, hey, this drive is not cooling itself as well as it used to. Maybe it's dirty. Maybe there's a fan issue. So these are things where it's a trigger to let you know to look at that drive. So don't wait for the drive to go into a warning or a fault state, because drives are like any other electronic device. You keep it cool, you keep it clean, you keep it dry, it's gonna last longer, just like my TV, just like my laptop. If those devices run cooler, the electronics are gonna last longer, drives are the same way. So don't rely on the drive warning or the drive fault to kick in to let you know that there's a problem. Something great for you to trend through your building automation system. Well, there you have it. ACH 580 and understanding the temperature reading in there for your inverter temperature, which is your IGBTs, 100% equals fault. If you have any other questions on ideas on how to trend this, what it really means, feel free to reach out to your local ABB drive specialist or reach out to your ABB regional application engineer. Thank you.